Well, hello and welcome. This is Nate. It's been snowing. We got us a Deer Valley home. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Super nice kitchen in this one. Y'all just wait till you see the back porch on this guy. We'll get around to that here in just a minute. We are at Grandin Homes here in uh, Salisbury, Indiana. So this is 2,280 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom. And yep, you've got the, uh, the infamous Deer Valley shower. So this is one of the first times I've got a chance to film a Deer Valley home. And uh, let me tell you, they don't disappoint. They are as nice as all the videos I've seen so far. Now this one has the uh, 612 roof pitch, I think is what he said, six or 712. Had that dormer on the front. So we'll just kind of be real quick on the back side. We will step out onto that back porch once we get inside the home. A really nice back porch. All right, let's head on in. Really like the uh, color of the doors and the trim here. I didn't really get to point that out. So now as we step on in, you can see you've got a really nice set of windows over there in your living room. You've got the electric fireplace, shiplap, and uh, really love this wood trim that they did all the way around these windows. Looks really, really good. And then you've got the individual tiles in the floor. You can see you've got that porch out there, which like I said, we'll step out there in just a minute. There will be a fan and light fixture that goes right there. You've got the shiplap in the ceiling. Your vents are in the ceiling. So now we can come take a look at the overall size of the uh, living room here. So you will hear me walking a little bit in this home because it is so cold out and all that. <laughs> of course, they've, I got to keep my shoes on. Step into the dining area that separates your living room and your kitchen. Now one thing that was pointed out to me is Deer Valley has changed manufacturers for the windows 
They are now the same company that makes all your residential windows, and they are using a company called Heritage. So that is new for this year. But they'll all be these, you know, double pane. And I believe the new ones will actually tip out, whereas these ones don't tip out. This could be like your coffee bar. Of course, then you've got a little drop zone over there. And I like that uh, they went with railroad spikes. Let's step out onto the porch here and uh, I didn't recognize the home at first when I first walked into it. Then, while talking with the sales guy, he informed me that Chance was here about a year and a half ago or so. And then when we stepped out onto this porch, I recognized it immediately. Because you can't miss this island in your porch. I've only seen one other home with an island and that was this home <laughs> filmed by obviously Chance. So that's the door to your primary bedroom. We've got an electrical outlet right here. Now this island is optional, as are these two guys right here. You've got the shelves. And then you've got some boxes up here that's going to be your electrical. And this is going to be your coax and your ethernet. Get you a better shot there. Now for the kitchen. I know we're like eight minutes into the video and we're just now getting to the kitchen. You've got the stainless steel Frigidaire appliances. The solid wood cabinets. Of course, they're all going to be soft clothes. And these drawers do pull out all the way. And we've got drawers above all our doors. And then the Lazy Susan. The window above your sink. You got your pull out faucet. And then we got to get an upper cabinet, so we've got the big corner cabinet there. Now the microwave is above the stove. We had electrical outlets at both ends. Now we can't forget the pantry, but before we get to the pantry, let's point out we've got these little display racks on each side. So it looks really good when it's closed. And then when you open it up, 
So now once you've got it open, there's what you're looking at. Nice large pantry is a walk-in. And down at this end, we have our bedrooms. So we will start with bedroom number one. So the gentleman that was doing the walkthrough with me, he said, this is the favorite area when the kids come with the parents. Because they'll come in here and they'll start doing laps in the closet. As you can see, this is a walkthrough closet. And then we'll come to bedroom number two. Now this one has the corner closet. Of course this is full of trim supplies. And then back across the hallway is going to be, so across the hallway is the bathroom. Couple of drawers there. And then you got these great big tubs to go in your shower tub combo. See if we can get you a shot of the shower there. And at the very back of the home, there is your back door, your electrical panel. Now they said that you can take this counter and you can extend it all the way out to where the end of this bench is and make that one giant counter. We've got our sink. I believe that is the attic access. It's open at the moment. So here's more of those railroad spikes that would be mounted right there when you get the home set up. This is going to be your water heater. Of course, our furnace. And then there's your washer and dryer hookups. And back to the opposite end of the home for the primary bedroom. So in the primary bedroom, you can see is a very large bedroom. And there is that door going out to the back porch.
And as we come into the bathroom, we're greeted with this really large soaker tub. And hello, Raiden. Not that you can see me very well, I'm all bundled up. We got four drawers. We've got shiplap on this wall and the this side of the shower. So we've got our water closet. And then our main closet, the single rack, dual racks, and then shelves. And I believe all Deer Valley homes are just the wooden racks. I don't think I've ever seen in any of the Deer Valleys that I have filmed, the wire racks. Now one thing that was pointed out to me by the uh, guy helping to, or giving you kind of the walkthroughs of the homes, is the Deer Valley's motto is, heavier is better. They try to, they don't try to compete with the other manufacturers, but they compete with the site built homes. So all your homes are gonna be built to the same quality as your site built homes. You've got the shower head here and the wand over there. And then you've got the bench in the shower. And with that, I don't want to see any of y'all benching yourselves. You need to go down there and leave me a comment letting me know what do you think of this Deer Valley home. What do you like? What kind of upgrades would you like to see? Uh, colors that you might like to do differently, that kind of stuff. And while you're there, don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the the bell, turn on notifications. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family and I will be back with some price information shortly. Thanks for watching. Well, all right, we're gonna do a shaky outro for you today. The gimbal's on the charger, coming to you from the office of my hotel room. It is the second to the last day of the uh, Louisville Home Show. Now I had another video already edited, ready to go for this one, for tonight's video. And uh, I ran into Chance today and was talking to him to, you know, of course I've run into him every day so far, but I was talking to him to find out uh, which home he was going to put out first. I was thinking he was going to put one out Saturday. He says he's not doing one until probably next week, but he informed me that I have to wait 24 hours after the show before I can post a video. So uh, I got to postpone this one that I got done till Monday's video and I know I promised you guys one today from the show so sorry about that but I do appreciate him informing me of something that I totally forgot about but with that said we got to get you some price information on this Deer Valley now this one is called the Sozo and uh, this was at Grandin Homes in uh, Salisbury Indiana so with that said let me get you some price information I had to go take a drink real quick Got my Cracker Barrel Peach Tea. <laughs> you only get it when you're at Cracker Barrel. I mean, this is some of the best stuff I've ever had. And I'm not a tea drinker, and I love this stuff. But with that said, <laughs> the price for the Sozo, which is 2,280 square foot. Now, this is part of the Mossy Oak Living Series. So, uh, you know, they have various different series like all the other manufacturers do. But this one starts around $209,000 and maxed out fully loaded could be up to $258,000. So I know I don't have an exact price for you, 
But I hope that helps you out, and I uh, hope you all are making sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. And I know it's supposed to be on this corner over here, but, you know, I'm backwards and my hand's holding the phone, so it makes it a little bit tougher. But I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.